gonna be a good day. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and uh, it's it's time to upgrade these monitors. I've had these ultra wide since 2016, I wanna say. They survived two moves, and it's just time to upgrade. I've had issues with these panels with um, like burn in, and I have a few dead pixels. So I figured let's just uh, get some gaming monitors in here. Gonna check out two of them, swap these out. I've been waiting on those uh, LG Ultra Gear ones we showed off at CES last year. They unveiled a new product line this year at CES. I did a video on it with those uh, newer Ultra Gear monitors. So I'm gonna have these until the meantime. Odds are the newer ones they showed off won't come off and or won't come out until the end of the year. So uh, these will have to do for now. All right, but before we start with that, I have to run out and uh, take care of something. All right, so as ridiculous as this sounds, I am absolutely hooked on banana almond milk. Never had it before in my life until like last week when I picked it up at the store. You know, I'm like, oh, I like bananas. Let's uh, try this out. And uh, it was delicious. It was like, it's like a banana milkshake pretty much, but it's almond milk. So I went through it in like three days and uh, we were out and I needed it today and I want to go get some. So I 100% expected that to happen, uh, but I just asked one of the guys working there if they had any in the back, and uh, they do. So we're good. Walked out of there with that and some Red Bull. Um, two necessities along with coffee. Uh, not all mixed together, no. Look at her cuddling her Evie. She always puts herself in her cage for a little nap. But uh, I got some news for her. Hey, Luna, there's some deer outside. Oh, yeah. Scare them away. Say, stop. Stop pooping in my yard, deer. I should also probably point out that I'm just replacing the bottom two right now. The other 31 and a half inch monitor, um, I'm doing a video on using pretty much, you know, like enabling G-Sync on FreeSync monitors since that's finally a thing now. Thank you, NVIDIA, after all these years. So I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on that with this. Uh, so swap the two and maybe I'll replace that overhead one that I use now with, uh, I was thinking like a 49 inch. What do you guys think about that? Would that be too much? Because there is a point of like, okay, that's just too many pixels, too much screen real estate, regardless of who you are, that's just too much. Should I do it? It sounds tempting. It feels tempting. Let me know. So I knew it couldn't all be easy. Of course, the uh, the VESA mounting spot on the monitors are different, which makes sense. They were a lot lower on the older monitors. Now they're more center, which is resulting in about uh, a three inch gap. So now I have to completely remount the brackets. Great.
All right, so crisis averted, you know, almost went wrong. Should, should I clickbait this uh, this video? You know, when hanging monitors goes wrong. No, but I got it all fixed, straightened out. I had to move it up in like a matter of two inches. So uh, everything is perfectly lined up and centered now. I figured something had to go wrong in my day. Wouldn't it be a usual day if uh, something like that didn't happen? Uh, but all good now. And for everybody, there, there's so many people in the room tour that'll be like, uh, uh, Frank, you stupid idiot. Your, your monitors aren't even lined up, you idiot. So you can see the center point of the two LG monitors meet up exactly in the middle of the Samsung logo. So uh, yeah, all the leveling and measuring I did, it worked out because it's dead even, dead straight. Good stuff. And for everybody wondering why I went with this, uh, like I said before, just availability, this is when I was available now. But it also has like different game modes, it has that 120 hertz, so I could show you that uh, kind of tutorial on using G-Sync with the FreeSync uh, monitors. But it also has uh, the sRGB mode and HDR, so I could, you know, throw on the sRGB mode for when I'm editing videos or photos. Gaming always, obviously is going to benefit from HDR. Uh, but yeah, with that higher refresh rate now, I could definitely benefit from just the 60 hertz panels that I had before. I am pretty stupid though, and I didn't move like any of my gear in my desk. So when I was drilling the holes to remount it, I got like drywall and stuff everywhere. So I should probably wipe this down. All right, so I spent the whole day editing and getting the monitors all set up. Pretty much forgot to eat. So it's 10 o'clock at night, and I figured have some leftover tacos from last night. Let's make a gordita with Chef Frank. Chef Pasalacqua, random chef. All right, step one. Get the tortilla, sprinkle some cheese on it, even that stuff out. You're gonna pop that ish in the microwave for about 25 seconds. All right, the cheese should be melted and ideally you're gonna wanna put an actual uh, tortilla shell, but ours are broken. So I'm just gonna lay the, the makings down for an actual shell. Gonna let the cheese kinda Hard in there. All right, now we're gonna add the ground beef or whatever meat you're gonna use. Ideally, the shell wouldn't be broken. A little more cheese. We're gonna add some rice, some refried beans, a little bit of peppers, little bits of corn. Top it with some salsa. And then kind of wrap it up like a burrito and then you should be good to go to town. All right, so the late dinner was fantastic. Uh, also been playing some uh, some games on this monitor, and I can immediately tell uh, with the, the high refresh rate at 144 hertz, now that, again, G-Sync and FreeSync monitors are gonna be compatible as one. I have that enabled, and I could immediately tell the difference in refresh rate. It looks so much smoother. Um, I just filmed that tutorial also during today. That's gonna be out probably on Monday. So stay on the lookout for that. Uh, with both of those monitors that I use, I was, like I was talking about before. And uh, also, so I posted it on Twitter the other day, but I, I, I caved in. I bought the HD800S after years of wanting these. And I've always been a fan of open back headphones because it just, you know, the, the sound stage is so much more wide open and it makes you feel like you're in the middle of the game. Luna, chill. Uh, it's incredible. It's incredible. I don't know how to get any more work done. This is impossible. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for this uh, kind of setup vlog with the two new monitors. Like I said before, let me know what you think about that overhead one. Do I do the 49 inch ultra wide? Probably gonna have to, you know, remount it obviously and adjust the bracket like I did, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, like I said, be on the lookout Monday, most likely, for the G-Sync FreeSync tutorial if you want to learn how to get the most, you know, refresh rate out of your, uh, your monitor and stuff. If you have compatible GPU, all that good stuff. Yeah. All right. Rambling again, as I always do. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.